what is up my dudes my name is kit uh k-i-t i I use they them pronouns and welcome to my youtube channel um if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment something down below if you have questions um subscribe if you like my content and today i am going to do like a haul or like kind of like a haul of everything that I pack for food for living in my car. So I haven't started living in my car yet, but I am all packed. So my last video, go check that out, was a car tour. Um, you can see all my boxes here of stuff that's going in the storage unit. Um, and then I will show you everything that I bought today and yesterday that's going to be my food storage in my car. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is my little mini fridge. It's currently plugged into my charger. Sorry, my room is a mess. The whole packing thing is, everything's a mess. <laughs> but here it is. So I have some rock stars in here. Um, I just have a couple. So I don't drink those every day, but when I need one, I have one. Um, here we have some onions. Um, this is pretty much everything that I use for like um, sandwiches and wraps is mainly what I make. And then some breakfast supplies in here too. So this I use for wraps. There's some pre-diced onions. And we have some lettuce here. Um, here is my oat milk. Um, which I always keep an extra one in my car because these don't need to be refrigerated until after they're opened. So I keep one in here and one in my car. We have some cream cheese for bagels. I have some yogurt. Um, I only eat vanilla yogurt. So I have a couple things of yogurt, some jam for PB and J's. I have grape and strawberry. And then you can see here, I have cheese and olives. Um, also use this for wraps. Cheese I use for wraps and sandwiches. And then I have turkey down in the bottom. Um, Pepper Jack is my favorite kind of cheese, so that's what we use there. And then everything fits in pretty nicely. Just like that. So in my car, you can see I have my pantry here. Which this is updated from the last video. I ended up going with a bigger pantry. Sorry for the noise. Um, I keep a water down there. So I always have extra water. This is my like extra storage bin, which you will see me pack as well, but it's not packed yet. Uh, I always keep extra gum. And then in here, We'll open that up. Main thing I have in here is ramen, which I have an electric kettle that I use to heat up water and then I just put the heated up water in here. So I have a ton of ramen. I have this kind, which I've never tried before, but it was pretty cheap, so I'm trying that kind. And then, tried and true top ramen, but this one was a little bit more expensive and it's a bigger pack. Um, so I have two of those. Next we have my can opener, which you'll see why in a second, but I just got the cheapest one. This was like 97 cents at Walmart and it's super thin. I haven't even opened it yet. Next we have peanut butter for PB&Js, obviously. Um, then I have a couple different kinds of go-go squeezes because these don't need to be refrigerated until they're opened either from what I'm aware of. Yeah, after opening. Um, 
So I have the cinnamon apple, uh, strawberry apple, and regular apple. So those are like some snacks. Then we have s'mores granola bars, which are really good. Regular chocolate chip granola bars. And my absolute favorite, the Nature Valley peanut granola bars. Then down here we have some tuna so I can make tuna sandwiches. Oh, that's the one thing I forgot to put in my mini fridge is mayonnaise. So I need to get some mayonnaise for that, but this is why I have a can opener. So I have my tuna, just four cans of that, some more ramen. Um, then I have these Nutella packs, which I love. So these are just kind of for snacks, but they're so good. Um, next we have Pop-Tarts, just kind of an on-the-go breakfast is my plan. I got the s'mores kind, so these are really good. So I got those. Then I have oatmeal, which I can also use my electric kettle to make. This is just the instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar all the way. That stuff's the shit. So that's what I got there. And then the very last thing in here is Reese's Puff cereal. I still need to get like some paper bowls and stuff and utensils, which I don't know where I'm gonna fit them yet, but I'm sure they will fit either under, behind there, or just in one of the bins that goes on top. So let's go ahead and pack this up. So yeah, that's everything that fits in there. And then on the side here, I keep my extra oat milk, which doesn't need to be refrigerated until I open it. So I haven't tried this brand yet, but hopefully it's good because I love oat milk. So this is my bin that I just filled up. It hasn't gone in my car yet, but I made sure that the bin fit. So this goes next to my mini fridge um, and above my like big pantry. So I have my spinach wraps, bagels for breakfast, and bread, which I can make kinda toast, not really toast, because I don't have a toaster, um, but PB&Js, turkey sandwiches, stuff like that. So that all goes in there. Um, it fits pretty nicely, and it fits perfectly in my car. Okay. So that is pretty much all I have for you today. Um, Everything I keep in my mini fridge, everything I keep in my dry storage. Um, there's only a couple other things that I need to get, including bowls and utensils and mayonnaise. And that is the only other things that I'm adding to my car. So between this video and the last video, that's pretty much everything that I keep in my car that I'm planning on keeping in my car. And this will all go with me to the Grand Canyon and to my other seasonal jobs. And I'll use all of it in there because the dorms don't have like kitchen spaces most of the time. So having a mini fridge in a little pantry area will be really nice. Um, not a lot of people will have that. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you can think of anything else that I might need or anything that you would bring that I'm not bringing. Um, let me know if you have anything else that you wanna see. If you wanna see my move-in vlog to the Grand Canyon, subscribe and hit the notification button and then you will get notified when I post my next video, which will probably be my move-in video will be my next one. So if you want to see that, go ahead and um, subscribe. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.